sinusoidal modeling using the TI-83 calculator. Many things in daily life repeat with a predictable pattern, such as the weather. Because sine and cosine repeat their values, they are examples of periodic functions and are used to model such events. In this session, we will attempt to model the average monthly temperatures in the city in which I live, which is Augusta, Georgia, for the year 2013. First thing I'm going to do is make a Google search for the average monthly temperatures in Augusta, Georgia. And I've found a website that gives me such information. So I'll attempt to make a scatter plot of the month and the average high temperature. First, we're going to make a scatter plot. Then we're going to find an equation. We're going to overlay the graph on the scatter plot. And then we're going to make predictions about the data. The first thing we want to do is make a scatter plot. In order to make a scatter plot, we must enter the data into our calculator. We want to enter the month in as, as list 1. And we want to enter in the average high temperatures as list 2. So I'm going to turn on my calculator. I'm going to clear off my home screen. I'm going to enter the stat menu. I want to edit my list. So I'm simply going to press enter. If you have items that are already within your list, you can clear them out by simply going to stat. The fourth option will clear the list. If I want to clear the list, I can go to the top of the list. I can hit clear and enter. I can also clear list 2 by doing the same thing. So I'm going to go to the top of the list. I'm going to hit clear and enter. You want to make sure that we're specifically using list 1 and list 2. If you see something different in your calculator, you can reset your list by simply using stat. I want to scroll down to the fifth option which is set up editor and once it's done if you return to your list you should see list one two three and so on so for list one I want to enter January as one February as two and December as twelve For list two, I'm going to enter in the average high temperature. Now that I have all of the data into my calculator, I now want to perform a stat plot in order to perform now that I have all the data into my calculator, I want to create a scatter plot. In order to create the scatter plot, we must first turn on our stat plot. I want to hit second and y equals, which is the stat plot. Notice that all of the stat plots are turned off. I want to turn my first stat plot on, so I simply want to click enter. I want to turn it on by pressing enter. You want to make sure that your type is set to that first block. You want your X list to be list 1, your Y list to be list 2, and you also want your mark to be set to the first item. In order to graph the scatter plot, I'm now going to hit zoom. I want to scroll down to the ninth option, which is zoom stat, and we have created a scatter plot of the data. Now we're going to use the sine curve to model this data. So I'm going to return to our home screen, which is second in mode. I want to clear my home screen. In order to find the equation for the data, I want to hit stat. I want to scroll over to calculate. I want to scroll down to sine regression. I want to hit enter and I want to hit enter again.
And notice that it gives us the equation in this form. Y is equal to 12.2 times the sine of 0.5x minus 1.8 plus 76.2. Now we want to overlay this graph onto our scatter plot. In order to do that, I'm going to go into the y equals. You want to make sure that you clear out any functions that you have. I now want to press variables. I want to scroll down to statistic. I want to press enter. I want to scroll over to equation. I want regression equations, so I'm going to simply press enter. And notice that it sticks the equation into the y sub 1. Next, I want to overlay the graph onto the scatter plot, so now I will simply hit graph. Want your calculator to be in radian mode. I must change my mode to radian mode and now if I redraw the graph we have overlaid the curve onto the data. If we want to make a prediction let's say if we wanted to predict the average high temperature for let's say June the 15th since June the 15th is around 6.5, remember that we've scaled January to 1, February to 2, March to 3, April to 4, May to 5, June to 6. June the 15th is the middle of the month, so I want to find 6.5. So I want to substitute X as 6.5 into our equation. So in order to do that, I want to go back to our home screen. I want to clear out our home screen. I want to hit variables. I want the Y variable. I want the function, so I'm going to press enter. We've stored the sine regression in Y sub 1. I'm going to press enter again. I want to evaluate Y sub 1 at 6.5. You want to make sure you use a set of parentheses. I'm going to hit enter. And around June the 15th, our average high temperature is close to 88.3 degrees. Thanks for watching.